Hi guys, today I want to show you guys how to create an Adobe portfolio. And this is something that you can literally have in your own website, show off your work, whether that's photography, um, you know, projects that you've done over the past or anything like that. Um, this is a great portfolio to use, or a great website to use to create your own portfolio. And the first thing that you want to do is make an Adobe account. Um, you can get an account for as low as $10, $10 a month. And that comes with Photoshop, Lightroom and Adobe portfolio. So once you do that, you want to go into your search bar right here, type portfolio oops, and click over here. So this brings you to um, your portfolio website that you can create and you can hit edit sites. I already have a site, so I'll be showing you that in a minute. But as you can see, there's many themes, um, there's photography, and you can just scroll through all these themes. And yes, you can edit each theme to your liking, but this is just the beginning of what you can do. And then you can click here, which is are all are all the examples that you can have as well. Um, there's so many formats. I think, I mean, whether you're doing a photography page or something else and you'll wanna change it up a bit, like this one here looks like it's a little bit more for past projects that people have done versus, um, you know, some of these that might be more photography based. But you can really choose anything from this. There's like a million. And the reason that I chose Adobe Portfolio over something like Squarespace is because um, Adobe Portfolio comes free with any subscription. So I'm subscribed to um, all apps, all the applications for Adobe, Adobe, but I mean, you can just buy the 1099 one and that's already cheaper than a Squarespace subscription, which is like $13 a month. And then you have resources here, which I actually haven't really gone through this, but this is showing you like how to create one, um, just like step-by-step step a little bit. I mean, I'm not, I haven't really seen that these are helpful, but we'll move over to my portfolio. So here's my portfolio. And as you can see, if I just go search it, you come to my homepage here. And then I have a little about section with a self portrait, which is funny, personal work. And it says like visual stories, you can put anything there, of course. And, um, you know, I have that and I have, this is a mostly photography. And these are all my photos from India. You can put captions wherever you would like. You know, you can click on the photo, enlarge it, things like that. Um, it's just really simple, intuitive, and you know, uh, I think I think the quality is good here as well. But you can go here, you can go back, you can click on anything. You can make as many pages as you want. And this is all with Lightroom. So I use Lightroom for everything. Um, I think it's just the easiest way to do everything in Adobe, just because they're all connected. And then professional work here, I really don't have much here, but um, that's something that I can change and I'm going to add to. So back to the back end of your website, all of this is editable, like even up here. I think, you know, using different forms, it's a lot better, but Adobe does it free. So this is why I chose Adobe. You know, you can change the background color, you can do anything. Um, if you hit pages over here, you can see that I can make as many pages as they want. So here, home page aligns with home here. So pages, about page, personal, and I put multiple tabs under personal, just because this is my personal work, it's photography, it's design, it's film, it's music, it's all of the above. And then um, I actually turned this page off. It was, what, it was originally my design page, which I had here, but I turned it off and just moved it up to personal work. And then professional work I have down here, which I don't really have much going on there. But yeah, you can go into each one. Let's see, I want to hit about. Now this is like my about page about me. I did a um, self portrait over here, a one line drawing. And then I did, um, you know, some text over here, which is a little bit about myself, but you can change anything. So you can change themes. If I decided to have a different theme here, you know, I can switch to any different theme that I would like. Um, I like my theme right now, but maybe down the line, I'll choose it and just update, give it a little bit of a facelift. And then settings as well. So you can do, you can hit anything in the settings, homepage, analytics, you can see who's, who's looking at it. I think you have to pay for that or something. But one thing that I did was um, I bought my URL and that cost me about $9, but that is in here. I've already, I've already purchased it. So you will not be able to see um, the option to buy, but you can really go through this and um, customize as much as you would like. But yeah, this is where I bought my URL. It's super easy to buy. Um, it was very cheap as well. Just use your name, use whatever you want. Um, it's up to you. 
And then backgrounds, colors, and fonts. I chose to have a dark background, as you can see. Um, I could do it. I could do a picture, but I decided just to have it um, clean as well. And then also, you can up here. You can move like where this is positioned. Like I had this in the middle, and then I had these around it. But I chose to um, move it around and just put everything on the left. So let's go into pages and just go through this. So. Here's my home page. I, as you can see, I do not have any pages. It's all empty here. I just want to keep it clean and simple. And then when I move into my about page, this is where I added a little bit of text. As you can see, you can edit the text. So if I wanted to change this, you can change, um, you know, what it is: header, subheader, paragraph, um, the font, the font size, um, you know, where it's positioned, left justified, right justified, centered, all of that, and um, an image. But another thing I can do up here is I can add stuff. So if you see this little plus button, you know, I can add image, photo grid, video, embed something um, from another site, add a social icon as I did, um, you know, on my contacts page, add text, add a Lightroom album, add music, and, you know, contact form, anything. So as you can see here on my contact page, um, it's just a normal contact page. And then I added all my social icons in, on the bottom. And then, um, oops, on my about page, you know, oh, sorry, what I'm saying, on my personal page, I added music, which is just embedded by the music button. So if I just hit add here, plus again, you can add audio. And this is music that I've made in the past. Um, but I just wanted to kind of show in my portfolio that I have done some um, audio design. So going back to personal, this, so the about page right here is an actual page where the personal page right here is a heading. So it's a header, which you can add pages into. So the difference is this is a page, this homepage, I mean, this about page is like a photography page is like this, but this personal page is a heading page, which you can add things below. And the great thing about, um, you know, Adobe is everything's connected. So if I want to go in and I want to go to my applications and I want to hit and open up Lightroom, I can easily do that and convert everything into my portfolio easily. And this also works with Behance. I don't know. I've never used Behance, but I know um, people who have, they can easily convert everything into their Lightroom um, or I mean into their, um, move it into their portfolio. So as you can see, I've had, I have all my collections. So I have black and white here. I have, um, you know, just random photos throughout my travels, Europe, graphic design, things like that. And you can see it, it kind of aligns with my personal page. So this aligns, you know, I have my photography of India, Europe, black and white. So every one of these pages, it's just a reflection of my Adobe Lightroom. And this is Adobe Lightroom CC, not Lightroom Classic, because Lightroom Classic, you can't upload it. You can, they don't connect with each other. But since Lightroom CC or yeah, Lightroom CC is kind of like a more web-based, cloud-based system, then yes, you can, um, you know, connect everything and just it will easily sync. So the second you update your Lightroom, you can automatically update your portfolio, which I think is a great feature. So you can see I've, you know, I can add as many photos as I want. I mean, they have to be JPEGs; they cannot be TIFFs, but um, you know that doesn't really matter to me. The quality is fine for what I'm looking for. And then you can also upload videos. So if I go back to my personal page, I can go here and look at films. And this is the film that I made. It's just like a, a fake H&M commercial. I think it's pretty good. But as you can see, the quality isn't really what it is. It's not very good. Um, it's not HD or anything, but one thing that you can do instead, if you don't want to have your videos embedded here, of course, you can either embed the link as I mentioned above. So like that's hitting the plus side, hitting embed, or you can just add your social icons like my Vimeo page. So those are two options if um, the quality isn't what you want on um, Adobe. But, but Adobe, you have a certain amount of storage in the cloud. So, I mean, it's a really lot of storage, so you're not going to use it all, but it's just one thing to um, think about. So all of this can be edited and everything can be 
um, included. As I mentioned below, um, you know, contact form, social icons, embed, it's all editable. And if you go into the left hand side, containers, or if you go to navigation or edit page information, um, you can also do that as well. But if you hit embed, you can create um, HTML or H HTML5 or whatever whatever your thing is, you can embed it into your site and it will reflect on um, your actual site. And this is just a quick overview. I will go into Adobe more, Adobe Portfolio more than I am right now. But I just wanted to mention that if you make any changes, what you'll want to do is hit update live site. So it just updates the site and then you can see immediately, it's really good, view your site open it, it opens up in another page window and you can immediately see the changes or you know if you don't update your site you can just hit um, back to edit so you can do those two things and that easily um, lets you update it live so that's just a quick overview of adobe portfolio i will be making more videos like this but i just want to give a quick overview of how to use it and like what the functions are for it's definitely more of a portfolio site i am hoping that they add something like e-commerce to it that'd be really nice um, but they haven't yet. But this is more for like artists, photographers, um, graphic designers, anything of that nature. It, Adobe Portfolio was perfect for that. So thanks for listening, guys, and watching. I will make more videos. Um, just comment below if you have anything else you would like, like me to include about Adobe Portfolio. It's pretty vast. Nothing that I can include in like 10 minutes. But I just wanted to give a quick overview. And yeah, thank you for listening.